Hey, what's going on guys? In part two of the Excel Wings tutorial series, I want to talk about something called converters and options. Excel Wing converters define how Excel range and their values are converted, both doing reading and writing data or doing the operations. They also provide a consistent experience across Excel.range objects and the user defined function if you do use them. Converters are explicitly set in the option method when manipulating range objects. So let me give you an example how does converter and option work. And I'm going to start importing the Excel Win module. And I'm also going to create a new instance of Excel file. So I'm going to code the Excel file as WB. Now, show me, let me just run these two lines of code right here. And let me rename the worksheet to data, just because uh, it's a little bit easier to type. And I'll, and I'll pass the, the data worksheet to WS data object instance. Oh, anywhere. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and let me clear the the terminal. Now, if we just type something like ws data dot range, and I'll set the value in a one to let's do a hundred. And here's my value. So under the range method. There's an underlying uh, method called options. The option method allows you to basically convert the data on top of the range method. And there are a couple of defaults converter that I'll be going over in this video. The first one will be the ending converter. So here uh, after after options, here let me do this. So I'm going to remove the option method for now. And here I'll type, uh, I'll, put, I'll type something in my Excel spreadsheet. And this will uh, erase everything. So let me do um, 100, 200, and for uh, the first row, and 300 and 400. Uh, in the second row and so we can read the data as one dimension or two dimensions so here if I read from um, top to bottom so a1 to a2 dot options and here we're going to provide the ending converter and I'm going to set the ending uh, value to 1 that value and if we just print the output so if we set the uh, ending value to one dimension and by default it will just give us a list but if we set the uh, the dimension value to two and that will give us the the value as a list within a list and by default excel wing is going to read data from left to right so if you change the cell reference from Let's do uh, A1 to C to B1. And you will see that uh, Excel will print the values as, uh, as one, actually just one dimension. So right here. And ignore the, the outer bracket. So just be aware of that. Now let's move on to the second converter, and which is the, the numbers converter. By default, when you read sales with numbers, the numbers are read as float, like decimal points, but I can change that to int, uh, which is integer. And so let me delete everything again. And I'll use 100 again.
And here I'm going to uh, use the numbers converter. And I'm going to change the data type to uh, int and that value. And also uh, make a copy of the line. Oops. And I'll change this to, uh, oh, actually, I'll just remove this. And if I print these two lines, oops, uh, print, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot the bracket. Yes, not one. Sorry, guys. Right, let me try again. All right. So if we uh, provide the numbers uh, converter, we can actually uh, specify what data type that we want the data to return us. And here my data type is int, so which returns the hundreds integer. But since for the second line right here, and we didn't specify our data type, so therefore uh, the number returns as a flow data type. Now let's move on to the third uh, converter, which is a uh, date. So here, let me uh, change the the value from hundred to let's do today's day, so which is March twenty six, two thousand nineteen. And by default, uh, let me actually let me import the date time uh, module. So here by default, when you read date values uh, using Excel Win module, and it's going to read as dates plus time. But if you want to convert the uh, the date value as just a date only or time only, you can use uh, you can use the the dates converters. So here's our, so here we want to convert the dates to just uh, dates only. And let me make a, actually that should be good. So if I just run this line right here, oops, DT is not uh, defined. Okay, let me try again. And now that will just return us just, just the dates only. And that's for the dates converter. Now let's move on to the MT uh, converter. Just a couple more. The MT converters allows you to convert empty cells to any values that you specified. So here, let me do this. So here in from cell uh, range A1 to C1, I'll do 100, I'll skip um, cell B1. You know, I'll enter 300 in cell uh, C1. Now, uh, if I read the data from A1 to C1, And here we get uh, a list of 100, a num value, and 300. So if we want to replace the num value to something else, and here we can use the empty converter, and followed by the num value to become. So here I'll, I'll convert the num value to NA, and that value. And let me clear everything. Now, if I just press, if I just print this line by itself, and here would uh, the num value will become an A based on the MT converter. All right, now let's move on to the next one, which is the transpose, and this is a pretty important one. The transpose converter will write and read the data in a column orientation. As I mentioned before, that when you write data. In Excel, using Excel wings, it's going to write from it's going to write data from left to right, and if you want to write data from uh, row orientation, which is the most common way uh, 
people to enter data these days, you have to use the transpose converter. So here, let me give you an example. So here, let me uh, clear everything. So let me uh, close this. And let me clear out the, the worksheet. So here, if I want to uh, end the value from, uh, let's do, if I just trying to end the value to 100, 200, 200 and 300. And that's going to enter the value from uh, A1 to C1. But if we want to end the value from A1 to A3, so here we need to use the transpose we need to provide the transpose converter and we'll set the value to two and that value. And they will uh, enter the value in a row orientation. So from top to bottom. And this is a pretty important one just because uh, I don't think that there are a lot of people will enter data in Excel from uh, in a column orientation uh, format. The last converter I want to talk about is the expand converter. If you have written VBA before, uh, you, you might have used the, the current region method. The current region method will automatically expand cell range, uh, giving a cell reference. So let me give you an example. And here I'm going to, uh, oops. And uh, type some data. So here, let me do this. I'll type uh, 10, 20, 100, and 200. And I'll store the uh, the value in uh, two variables, yeah. range one and range two variables. So here I'll use the expand uh, method. And this will be range two. But for range two, I'm going to use the options method and providing the expand uh, converter and the converter value will be table. And there are two more uh, values can use. One is called vertical and the other one is called horizontal. But I, I've never used um, vertical and the horizontal before. Uh, most of the time I use table but I'm pretty sure that occasionally uh, those will come in handy. And now if I just print uh, range one and range two uh, values. So here let me print, actually let me run these two lines first. And if I run these two, oops, uh, should be that value. And if let me rerun these two uh, two lines right here, and that returns uh, the value as a as a list of a list, and with the same result. Now, if I expand the the table uh, by inserting a new row of data, so now if I go back and reprint a branch one branch two values, and you will see, you'll see that if we only use the expand uh, method by itself. And the number is not going to change, so the number will be static. But if we use the options method and providing the expand converter, and the expand type is table, and that's telling Excel when it's that okay, every time when this new data entered, we want to expand uh, automatically you know, based on the new value entered. So here, if I uh, enter one more uh, column of values. Oops. And you will see that by using the expand converter, the cell range will expand automatically by itself. All right, guys, so this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. For the next video, I'll be covering the built-in converters, which allows you to take dictionaries, numpy arrays, pandas series, and data frames and convert those data type into Excel tables. If you guys have any question, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.